Minneapolis may be chilly in the winter, but it's heating up for NAFA's 2014 I&E at the Minneapolis Convention Center from April 8th through 11th. NAFA's Executive Director, Phil Russo, talks about some of the hot topics on this year's agenda, including cost-cutting ideas, driver and vehicle safety, technology, and professional development. NAFA's uh, 2014 INE will be April 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th in the Minneapolis Convention Center in beautiful Minneapolis, Minnesota. We've got a tremendous agenda scheduled again, uh, focusing on the four main areas that we focused last year, cost-cutting ideas, driver and vehicle safety, technology, and professional development. So all of the courses and all of the sessions, 60-odd sessions, will be focused on those four top areas that fleet managers has, uh, have identified as core to their, to their needs and, and the areas of concerns that they have. The really cool thing that we're doing this year, we're going to have a pre-conference event at the GE Alt Fuel Driving Center. So you're going to be able to drive an electric vehicle, a CNG vehicle, a propane vehicle. It's, a, it's an add-on event. You have to sign up for it. No, add -on, no extra cost, but you'll be able to spend half a day or so testing one vehicle, getting out of one vehicle, going into the next vehicle, getting out of that vehicle, going into another vehicle, and talking with the experts that are going to be right there. The OEMs will be there, the fuel suppliers and the, the te technology people will be right there. You can ask them those questions. So in addition to the tremendous networking and education value and the expo value that you get at I&E, &E, now you've got this great pre-conference event that you'll be able to go to as well. So really looking forward to it. Our main goals for next year, we have three primary areas where we're going to be focusing on next year. Uh, our advocacy efforts, uh, growing membership, and helping our chapters. And, and based out of the strategic plan that we've been building over the past couple of years, uh, this is really the fruition of that and really putting our money where our mouth is. Um, literally putting our money where our mouth is. Uh, we're expanding advoca advocacy in two different ways. Most people, when you say advocacy, they think of legislative representation, and it certainly is that. Um, we have literally doubled down on our advocacy efforts. As of October of 2013, um, our representative in Washington actually went out and hired a new uh, staff member just for us, just to handle NAFA work. So. NAFA has always been really good at being involved in legislation in, D in, in Washington, D.C., and we've been involved in the conversations. Um, but it's always kind of been on a reactive basis, not on a proactive basis. And the, the idea now is we want to be at that table. We want to be part of the conversation. We want to start the conversation, frankly. We don't want to just hear about the conversation. So we have to put our money where our mouth is with that. So we certainly are doing that. So we'll, we'll have some expanded um, recognition and some expanded efforts there, uh, which means we're going to be doing a better job defending fleet managers and defending fleet management so that we can have sensible legislation and sensible regulations uh, and really be part of that movement down in Washington. So that's the one part of the advocacy. The other part of advocacy that some people don't really think of is really standing up for fleet management and fleet managers with their bosses. So last year we, be, we began the Beyond Fleet campaign. This year we're expanding that. So in addition to doing the, the, the ads in Fortune Magazine and Business Week Magazine and the Wall Street Journal, we're expanding all of those. We're expanding the realm of publications that we'll be reaching out to, expanding our, our radio spots, our radio advertisements that we'll be doing, all in the name of promoting fleet managers and fleet management to your bosses so that your bosses know what you do and the bosses know the value that you bring. And then in addition to that, we're expanding the Beyond Fleet campaign, the Beyond Fleet website to give you real tools. So we'll be helping you out from this side and you can help yourself out from this side. So we'll be having PowerPoint presentations. So if you need to make an executive presentation, it's right there, the template's right there. Um, letters that you can send up to your boss saying, this is what I do, this is the value, these are the assets that I'm in control of. All of that stuff pretty much ready made for you. So when you go online, click it, Modify however you want and give those things up to your boss and, and maybe even your boss's boss to really sell yourself to fleet management. So when we talk about advocacy, that's we're talking about both of those buckets in DC and for fleet management. So that's one really big realm, yeah.